you have low cortisol, almost always. People with low cortisol look like, so you can't let things go. With low cortisol, we're at higher risk for all autoimmune illnesses. Let's add liquid potassium to your water. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am blessed to be joined again today by Dr. Morgan Camp. Dr. Morgan Camp is an integrative practitioner, has been practicing for well more than 20 years. He's an absolute gift to the world in his ability to help support people through really complex conditions and diseases. So I think I might just hand it over to you, Dr. Camp, and we'll get we'll get into it. So- Everybody's been sold this story that they have high cortisol and everybody freaks out about the word cortisol. When actuality, if you have an inflammatory illness that ends in itis, it means by definition, you have low cortisol, almost always. Interesting. I did not know that. Because itis is inflammation. And what Mm. what is cortisol? Cortisol is your natural anti-inflammatory. So when you have adequate, you don't get inflammatory illness. So physically, let's go a step back. So what do people with low cortisol look like? Thin. Hot when the extreme version of low cortisol is you have no facial fat and you're really thin. You can imagine and and it creates an energy of like worry and anxiousness and perseverating and obsessiveness. So you could probably, anybody here could close their eyes and think of a family member or someone close to them who's thin, who overthinks everything, who can't calm down, who's a little agitated quite easily. That is low cortisol. That's what it's doing. When you don't have enough cortisol, you release excessive amounts of adrenaline. Excessive amounts of adrenaline cause anxiety, palpitations, um, and you know, insomnia, all the bad things that you don't want. And they also make your mind just keep racing so you can't let things go. Mm -hmm. So that's when you're just like, you're just going all the time. Um, Physically, you can look at your nails and at the end of your nails, they'd be really dark. That's low cortisol. Pigmented spots on your face. Like, yeah, you can get sun exposure, but you know, big dark discolorations on your face. That's low cortisol. Dark lines on the palms of your hand and the creases. That's low cortisol. These are all, because what it is, is this is ACTH, which is what you're you're, 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 uh, using, which stimulates cortisol production from the adrenals. When your adrenals aren't producing enough, your body releases more of that ACTH and it's a dark pigmented um, uh, uh, color on your skin. You're right. Um, So, you you know, people with low cortisol typically have more allergies. They -hmm. also have more viral infections. They have more food sensitivities. Psychically, they're more sensitive to everything in their environment. They're more sensitive and aware of what's happening and maybe feel a little bit paranoid and afraid easily. Why? Because they don't have the cortisol needed to handle the stress in their life. And every time they have a stressor, their body is releasing adrenaline, which is actually breaking down your muscle and leading just not, it's it's a, you're on this catabolic, meaning muscle breakdown pattern of life, which Mm -hmm. isn't good. Um, So, you know, cortisol is really like a feel good hormone. And that's why while I was saying earlier, people with high cortisol, they're the jolly, happy storytellers who are laughing all the time because they had a lot of cortisol. Stress doesn't bother them, right? When you parallel that, you're like, oh, that makes a lot of sense, right? Um, so the treatment of, of, of adrenal issues and low cortisol is so complicated. And there's so many books on it because there's so many sources of stress. One, there's so many sources of stress. And two, it comes in every flavor and it, it manifests and influences all of our illnesses and aging dramatically, right? It, with low cortisol, we're at higher risk for all autoimmune illnesses. Makes um, sense. We're at at risk for all of these like, you know, post-infectious inflammatory diseases that can happen like long COVID, fibromyalgia, Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, irritable bowel syndrome and food allergies, but also Crohn's and the the cousins of Crohn's. Um, So, you know, it's all the things that you don't want to have that are really plaguing our society now, um, you know, are working on this level. So, 
you know, how do you treat it? Well, that, that's a, we could talk for days on that topic. <laughs> you know, day, days and days. And, you know, it's like the number one realization that at some point you have to come to is, is that stress is not outside of us. Stress is our response that we have control over. And we're the only organism in the, in, on the planet that can choose our response. So on some level, we are in power. Now, it's hard to be in power when your cortisol is low and you're releasing adrenaline all the time. That puts you in a, a, a weakened, fearful state, right? So the challenge with adrenaline, low cortisol is learning to take a little step back, create more space in your life and learning what those triggers are. And it's multifactorial. You have to do, you got to do your therapy. You got to do your, your treatments, whatever they may be. You know, there are a lot of treatments that can work on this. You got to find those. Um, and on the physical level, you know, low cortisol is almost always associated, associated with low minerals in the body. And when you don't have those minerals, then it just, the systems get worse. For example, ma low magnesium and low cortisol. When you don't have enough magnesium and you have low cortisol, well, that adrenaline that you're releasing can't get degraded. Why? Because you need magnesium to break it down. Mm -hmm. So that's how like you learn your systems and, you know, you can make things a little better when you know your body better. Um, you know, you add in more selenium and zinc into your life. That'll help too when you have low cortisol. The other thing you have when you have low cortisol is you have hypoglycemia easily. So your blood sugar is bouncing up and down. The blood flow to your head is diminished due to low blood pressure. Therefore, you don't think clearly all the time. Um, so dead giveaway, another dead giveaway symptom of low cortisol and, and, and it's, its cousin aldosterone, which is modulating the blood flow to the brain, is... When you really have to make an important decision, do you lay down? Do you feel better laying down? Do you feel better standing up? If you if you feel better laying down, that means you're not getting enough blood flow to your your to the brain up here, right? Really that simple. So that tells us that okay, if you stand up, your you, your cortisol, your blood pressure just isn't high enough. So we can support that. There's a lot of herbs that can support that. Licorice supports that. There's a zillion mm -hmm. adrenal adaptogens. Licorice will actually help raise your blood pressure. But if you have high blood pressure, you don't take it. But if you have low blood pressure, it's kind of quite good for you. Mm -hmm. The thing that's quite good when you have that low blood pressure issue, and I take this every day, and many of my patients have said this is the best thing I ever told them to do, is add liquid potassium to your water. Liquid potassium will help you release that other adrenal hormone called aldosterone, which will help raise your blood pressure and help you think more clearly. When you think more clearly, you'll be less anxious and afraid, and you'll be less perpetuating the cycle of releasing adrenaline, which is just making the cortisol worse. That's the hard part about cortisol issues is that it begets more bad behavior, which just makes it worse. Yeah, so again, thank you for your time and sharing your wisdom. It's always amazing and greatly appreciated and just how you can put complex things together and bring it back and really looking at treating someone as a whole and, and looking at all of this and putting this all together, moving pieces with the human body is really amazing. So thank you. If you um, want to get notified anytime we put up new videos, Dr. Camp and I are going to do definitely some more. Make sure you hit subscribe. If you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. You can also find us on Facebook on Facebook forward slash kidney coach. Thank you for being part of our community. We hope you found this useful and we hope now that a lot of you will go out and get your hormones tested every year. We highly recommend it. Until next time, thanks again. Thank you, Dr. Camp. Bye.